How's it going, everyone? I'm PhilTheGamer505, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the previous episode, we explored Rito Village. Yes, Rito. I finally said it right. Apparently, I was saying it wrong, but I always said it as Rito. So if I still pronounce it like that, it's because that's how I've been saying it my whole life. But anyway, we found learned a little more about Rivali. We, uh... Learned more about Tiba, we learned more about Bob Meadow, and now we gotta go find Tiba. So, I'm actually, if you remember in the last episode, I already did everything over here, so yeah, I already did it all. So, I just gotta go over there now. I kind of was ahead of myself, and I didn't even get the memory at the start <laughs> when I was supposed to get it because I was an idiot and I didn't realize that. Whoopsie. No, oh, I just completely forgot how to do things, clearly. I'm not smart, but we know that. Did you not see me jumping on the back of a dragon getting hurt a few episodes ago? That was silly. Anyway. Sativa should be over here. Ugh, all the targets are back. So I really just wasted my time. Actually, pretty busy here. You should probably go. Okay, so Rito are just very cranky people, apparently. Did you need something? I'm busy here. Help me. With what, exactly? Fameto? Of course. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Vameto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Tiba. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into a town. Look. You seem like an alright guy, but let's just make this one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. Once Divine Beast Va Meadow falls from the sky. If I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Okay, then let's get started. Are you serious? Ha. <laughs> well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But it's, uh, it's as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Far Meadow is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening, there's no way we can set foot in Meadow. So, not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon. Never mind. Let's f focus on bringing down Meadow, one step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archer archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Hmm. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Sure. Hmm. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. Oh boy. I don't even have a bow out. Wow, I'm stupid. I forgot it broke. Thank you. 
Okay, come on back. Dude, we could have done more. You were refilling my stamina, so it was not really that hard. You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give its can cannons all you've got. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Okay, the falcon bow. Falk. I don't know. Falcon bow. Hang on. Can we cook a little bit before I'm doing stuff? Maybe. Let's cook these bananas. Uh, there's actually not much to cook at all. Dang. I don't really have anything I can cook. Alright. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Von Metal. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are precious, a precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Oh, thank you. You're much nicer than the Resora making me get shock arrows. Then again, they couldn't exactly touch them, but... Thank you. Also, it'll be cold up there. You'll want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Uh... Wait a second. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go and get the other clothing. Uh, I need to sell a little bit. Hey, friend, what can I do for you? Um, what do I want to sell? Uh, we can just get rid of the sapphire. Just that little extra, I'm gonna go to that too. Good. It's time to face Divine Beast of Meadow. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. Okay. I'm ready, what's the, pl what's the plan? I'll draw Meadow's fire. That'll be your chance to destroy its cannons. There are four cannons total. The main body is, is protected by a barrier, so there's no use attacking it. Just focus on taking out all the cannons. We'll talk next steps once that's done. Okay, yep, we're going. Let's do it. Alright, but let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? Drasky Zelda, save Rito Village. I can't just watch. Just because. Well, we'll go with Zelda. Zelda! That's the name of the princess Rivali served 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast Va Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Right. Get on. Well, this should be fun. Oh, I, I thought it was going to have a dialogue. Never mind. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's Divine Beast Von Meadow. It has a, its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. All right, let's do it. All right, now go blow up those cannons. It's up to you. 
Oh boy. Look at them just targeting on me. Mm. Got it. Dude, draw its fire for me. It's trying to kill me instead of you. It's supposed to kill you, man. Just saying. This is kind of fun. Man, my favorite part is fighting the uh, Divine Beasts. They're so exciting. I wish uh, Rudania had more of a fight than just... Like, you know, where it's got, like, this whole cutscene and everything going on. It's targeting us. I can see that. Oh! Jeez! This one's actually really easy to fight. Uh, although I did miss. Nope. We're in hot. And okay. I hate that I could have just done this in the previous episode if I didn't take a millennium to figure out what I was doing. That really makes me mad. <laughs> oh well. I guess we're doing it in this episode? We're gonna fight it? I guess so. seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Okay, well, I, there's gotta be something more I could do in this episode other than this. Because... I feel like it's like... Or like I don't, oh, I, you know, I'll quickly grab this, uh, this right here, though. Why not? 
I just sold one of those. Okay, well, let's kill that. Um, I don't think I want to do it in this episode. I think I want to end... No, I can't end the episode, can I? No, I'm, I have to do it. Why not? This is going to be a really long episode for me, isn't it? I'll probably get stuck anyway. Fine. <laughs> We're doing it. Maybe it'll be easier than the last one. Or the first one. Va Ruta was the annoying one for me. Rudani, I just did some stupid mistakes, but... We'll do it. Why not? I'm already here. It would be too short an episode, in my opinion. So why not? Okay, so what we have here is an updraft. Oh! What the heck? Okay. I don't want to be in there yet. I guess that's just a way to get back up if you fall. That's the ending area, so that's going to be where we're dealing with uh, the Ganon Blight stuff. Okay. Oh, there's a little guy there. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. This guy's actually trying. He's not really hurting me. But he's definitely trying. Well, I mean, that weapon's almost broken anyway. Oh, I don't want to use the bullet breaker. I'll use the spear. Excellent. Give me that map so I can figure this out. Jeez, my computer freaked me out there. It was a loud kick. Okay, so they're all kind of lined up in the same way. Oh, so you got tilting. Okay. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it? No. I don't feel like trying. Every time I try to talk, I get a hiccup and it really hurts. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Oh! Jeez. I kind of want this. Okay. Ancient shaft. Cool. Okay, so let's just experiment. Tilting it. So we do that. Oh, there we go. You have to execute it as well. I don't know where the thing is, so I can't really deal with that. We Oh, this was a bad idea, wasn't it? It's like the Sandbird or something from Sunshine, Mario Sunshine. That's what I get the vibe of when it's tilting like this. When you gotta like shift and stuff. Oh my goodness, that was so annoying back when you were younger. Blech. Sandbird. Oh, wow. Well. It's getting hurt even when it was dead. Okay. Well, what's over here? Just out of curiosity.
Oh, uh, just another the chest. Okay. I'm also gonna try to loot the place. Okay, let's... Oh, it's only rotating over there. Oh boy, I'm falling to my doom. Let me just kind of recover here. Okay. That was a waste of an arrow. Where's my arrow? Probably gone. I'm pretty sure that would have fell. So that's kind of lame, but ah, uh, that was my fault. So where are these terminals? I'm not really seeing any of them. Maybe I gotta get back up there. Yeah, let's get back up there. We gotta fly up. Okay, I went a little too high. Okay, so that's kind of like forced into certain areas. <laughs> I really do. I'm greedy today. Then they're so easy to get to them. I just can't find any of the terminals. Actually, that was worth it. Okay. Um. Terminals. I gotta get in the wings. So I guess what I could do is I could fly over here. Oh, that worked. I don't know how that worked, but now I'm in the wing. Excellent. So, I see that I gotta kill that thing. Okay, so that deals with that. So now we just gotta figure out where to look around. Oh, there we go. There's a terminal right there. Cool. Well, that wasn't too hard to get. I just had to figure out where to look for it. There are four terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. I gotta get in there somehow. I'm assuming and assuming. Well, I can't speak word. I assume I need to have wind though, so I can do something. sure what's going on here. Well, I can't- okay, well that worked. Knight's Claymore. Uh, and the door's full. I don't want it anyway. Oh wait, we could put a bomb in here. Wait, maybe what I want to do is the wrong way. I want to go this way. And then I want to put a bomb in there. So then it's just going to roll all the way over there so I can blow it up. Now 
could definitely open. Oh wait, what if I um put a bomb in there? Can I blow up something if I Yep. Oh, I see. Okay, and then what I want to do is uh execute that to move it out. Oh, so now I want to kind of maneuver it into that hole. So to do that, I need a wrong way. I keep doing that. I keep going the wrong way with that. And that should open the door. Yep. Well, I can't believe I figured that one out actually really quick. Once I saw the hole for the bomb, of course. Okay, it's two down. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. There should be another one in this area, though. Well, I mean, looking at the map. I definitely want that though. So I'm gonna make the assumption I need to go outside of here. Maybe I wanna go outside of the other area though. What could be up there? I don't know. Well, what happens if like I go into this area of the wind here? Is it just like a horrible idea, or is it not a horrible idea? That ball found its way back here. Nope. 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 Goodbye. Yep, I'm I fell. I fell off. So how do I get to that last one? And where it's definitely in a lower area though. Is it just like out here? I mean, I could definitely travel on this, so let's see what I can find from out here. Yeah, there is an opening. I knew it. Yeah, see, I want to get right in there. Perfect. there. You sound shocked. I'm not that incompetent. Okay. First things first. Kill that. Open this. And see what it does. Mmm. Ice arrows. Cool. Hit that, that's gonna do what? Open something? Oh, here it comes.
Okay, thanks. Okay, well, what if I hold it there eventually? No, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, it did work. Okay. I don't know how that worked. Oh, it's because it opened, because, like, right when it let go, it opened. And, like, it was still spinning when the stasis ran out. So it just kind of kept counting it. Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what <do you> know? <laughs> okay, so we need to get in there. We need to get in here. So how doth one get in there? I kind of want this. Uh, Knight's Bow. Can't take it. I already have a bunch of them, so really, whatever. What about, like... What if I use stasis on this one and then opened it? Eventually opened it? Nah, that didn't do anything. Um, no, 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 I don't know where to look. Cause like, I mean, I see where to go. I got, there's just no way in there. Unless there's like maybe an exit and I gotta like do that whole flying around outside the area. That could be it. Let's see what I can do if I were to try to jump out. Maybe we need a different angle though. Yeah, see, cause I can jump out. And I can fly over here. And I can... Yeah, there's some over here. Oh, yep, this is where I need to be. Okay. Wait, what was I looking for? I saw a thing uh, flying around. Oh, there it is. Okay. Onward! I'll get ready to shoot it. The roof protection is now ready to roll. Oh man, if I don't kill that little ugly thing. Oh jeez, I'm trying to shoot it, but they, my arrows are weird. There we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. We're good. Nailed it. Lost some arrows for that one though. So that sucks. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All of them. Done. Success. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well... Lap to it. Alright. Since we already know it's a boss, I want to be fancy and wear. Oh, I can't. I'll do it for the cutscene. For the cutscene, I'll switch to the champion's tunic. But then afterwards, I'll keep. I'll be smart. Okay, so let's go up here. And there we go. Hang on. I want to be stylish about it.
luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. But you must avenge me, Link! Okay. Watch yourself. Great, that's not gonna be fun. Let me heal first because I have like half health, and that is a horrible idea to fight this guy with half health, probably. So, let's see. Uh, that's five, six hearts. Mm. All this stuff heals me too much. I guess I could eat this. Attack boost as well, so that's good. And let me just eat this milk. That was not milk, that was actually, that was no one here milk. Okay, I gotta figure out an idea. How would I want to fight this dude? Oh my. Okay, yep. Tornadoes, that's fun. Okay. Oh wait, let me uh switch my clothing. I forgot I wanted to be fancy and honor the champions that time. We're good again. Oh. Ooh. Wait, I see a wind updraft. I can use that. Ow. It would have worked, but then I ran out of uh, stamina the second I did it. That was a thing. Well, oh goodness, my stupid glider is not shutting off. Oh, because I don't have a bow. Because it broke magically. When did this happen? Stupid swallow bows. No wonder I don't use them. Because they suck. Okay, I'm running. Alright. Oh, I gotta stop letting go of that so early. Oh. I'm running. Okay. Yo, yeah, okay. I, I keep forgetting he can do that. And then all of a sudden there's a giant tornado chasing me. Ravali for actually rooting me on for even just a little bit. My sword broke, but that's always a problem. Oh, I missed. Darn. You know what? That's actually a good tactic. Just wait until he's low and then just charge at him. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that arrow. I knew I shouldn't have shot it. I just really wanted to. Oh. Well executed. Why? Because Daruk saved my life? I like how every time... Daruk saved me. Rivali's just like, nice. And, or like, good timing. It's like, I'm not even doing that. You're crediting Daruk, not me. I don't even know where he is. Which may be problematic for me. Yo, I'm getting in the air. Because I don't... Whoa. Oh my. Because I can't find him. There he is. Oh, thanks. Now you care. Now you care. This one's definitely not as bad though so far, but he hasn't even gone to a second half yet, so I'm not going to say much yet. Okay. Onward. I missed. He, he left me. Watch your blind spot. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I didn't even know what he was doing and it, I'm not getting up apparently. Oh, is oh wait, no, he's not. Ouch. I don't want to use bomb hours though. Maybe if I can knock him down and I can just start wailing on him a little bit. Oh, ow. Careful. Thanks, Rivali. I didn't know you cared. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't know he cared. He's actually concerned. You know what? I've got me for, for a reason. For this exact scenario. Oh, come on, get up, Link. That might hurt a lot. What is happening while I'm, like... Okay, you know what, let's just start shooting some arrows. That is something I am skilled enough to do. Oh! It's over! Okay, I'm just gonna mute the audio for a bit. I'll be back. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale!
It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Metal Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast, and accomplished something that even I could not. I guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. Okay. Well, Rivali's Gale, a blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion Rivali, creates an upper upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by charging jump with X. I'm just gonna try it out before we end off the episode. Okay. That could come in handy if I ever need it. Okay, but anyway, that's the episode. That was a really fun one, it was a very long one, because I did literally the fight with Meadow and the fight in general. Everything about it I did all in one episode, so that was a lot of fun. Really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, show you played that like button. Subscribe for more Breath of the Wild, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright, see ya.